Access your free language gifts right now, before they expire. Here's what you're getting this month. First, the Movies and TV Shows Cheat Sheet. Want to be able to talk about your favorite shows and films? This conversation cheat sheet teaches you 50 plus words and phrases to help you do just that. Second, the Ultimate Listening Video Master Course. How are your listening skills? Sharpen them up with this video master course. Download it right now. Third, 20 phrases you'll need for the doctor. Learn how to schedule appointments, talk about your symptoms, and much more. This one minute lesson gives you 20 must know phrases. Fourth, want to be able to handle everyday tasks in your target language, like sending and receiving mail? Then this next one minute lesson is for you. You'll learn most of the words and phrases you'll need at the post office. Fifth, Learn how to impress native speakers with this one minute lesson. Learn how to give natural compliments like the food is delicious and this is a beautiful country. Six, free language learning audiobooks. Get free access to our huge library of beginner level audiobooks. Save them to your device and listen and learn. They're yours to keep forever. And finally, the deal of the month. If you want to finally master the language with lessons by real teachers and our complete language learning program, get 51% off all basic, premium, and premium plus plans with our special Black Friday deal. To get your gifts and language learning resources, click the link in the description below. Download them right now before they expire. Some of the most important Dutch verbs. Let's get started. Zijn. Zijn. To be. Hij is piloot. Hij is piloot. He is a pilot. Now, like many languages, uh, Dutch has strong and weak verbs, and zijn is a typical strong verb. And that's why zijn doesn't look or sound anything like is. Hij is piloot. So, in combination with hij or zij, he or she, um, the verb zijn sounds like is. Leuk vinden, leuk vinden, to like. Ik vind haar leuk. Ik vind haar leuk. I like her. Now, if you're saying this in Dutch, um, especially about a person, then uh, it usually means that you have a little crush on them. So be careful when you use this. Doen, doen, to do. Wij doen de afwas. Wij doen de afwas. We are doing the dishes. This is also a strong verb, but it's recognizable here. Um, the word doen or do can be used for many different things, and there's a lot of different meanings to it, just like in English. Zeggen. Zeggen. To say. Zij zegt helemaal niets. Zij zegt helemaal niets. She says nothing at all. This is just a very neutral word. Um, if you're going to ask someone to tell you a story, then you can start the sentence with zeg. For example, you can say, Zeg, who is het afgelopen met John? I say, what have I happened to John? Except it's less archaic uh, in Dutch than it is in English. Horen. Horen. To hear. Ik hoor de trein. Ik hoor de trein. I hear the train. There's an easy way to remember this one, um, because the verb horen sounds a lot like oren. So, horen doe je met je oren. You hear with your ears. Gaan. Gaan. To go. Zij gaan naar huis. Zij gaan naar huis. They are going home. Gaan can also mean leaving. Um, for example, if you say ik ga, that means I'm leaving. Weten. Weten. To know. Ik weet niets. Ik weet niets. I know nothing. Jon Snow. That's literally the only time I've ever seen that sentence. So in Dutch, unless you're quoting Game of Thrones, um, you would say, 
Ik weet het niet. I don't know. Nemen. Nemen. To take. Kun je de fiets nemen? Kun je de fiets nemen? Could you take the bike? So this is uh, nemen uh, in the context of choosing a means of transportation. So ik neem een appel means I'll take an apple. You can also say um, ik neem de telefoon op. Uh, opnemen means answering a phone. And you can say ik neem een boek mee. Mee nemen means to take something with you. So the verb nemen, you can combine it with many prepositions. Zien. Zien. To see. Hij ziet heel weinig. Hij ziet heel weinig. He doesn't see much. So zien is spelled with a z. But the Dutch aren't that particular about it, so it just sounds very slightly different from an S. So with an S you would say sin, and with a Z you would say zin. Do you hear it? Sin. Zin. It's a small difference, but it's there. Komen. Komen. To come. Ze komen morgen op visite. Ze komen morgen op visite. They will come and visit us tomorrow. Um, another example would be if someone calls you and you want to say, I'm coming. Um, you would say, ik kom eraan. Denken. Denken. To think. Ik denk aan lekker eten. Ik denk aan lekker eten. I am thinking of delicious food. Hear, hear. Um, so, unlike in some other languages, um, denken is very versatile. So, you can say, ik denk aan je, I'm thinking of you. Uh, or, ik denk dat het de blauwe is, I believe it's the blue one. Um, so, you can use it for both the active act of thinking and for when you mean you believe something to be true. Kijken. Kijken. To look. Ik kijk naar het huis. Ik Kijk naar het huis. I'm looking at the house. This is a tricky sound if you don't speak Dutch. Um, a. That's because it's a diphthong, uh, which means it's actually consisting of two vowels, like every set of vowels in the phrase, no highway cowboys. So, no highway cowboys. Was that clear or was it just... A weird sentence pronounced really slowly, I can't tell. Willen. Willen. To want. Zij wil een hond. Zij wil een hond. She wants a dog. Now, don't be fooled by those silly Dutch people who say wilt. Zij wilt. That's not correct. Um, and, it, and wilt is often not the correct word. So if you want to be completely safe... Just never use wilt, always say wil. Ik wil, jij wil, hij wil. That's it. You can't go wrong with that. Geven. Geven. To give. Ik geef mijn vriend een verjaardagscadeau. Ik geef mijn vriend een verjaardagscadeau. I'm giving my friend a birthday present. You can also give other things, um, like when you say, pas op, of ik geef je een schop, you're saying, watch out, or I'll give you a kick. Gebruiken. Gebruiken. To use. Hij gebruikt de auto. Hij gebruikt de auto. He is using the car. This is another typical example of a diphthong. Um, it's a tricky sound to make. Ui. Ui. Gebruiken. Keep practicing. Vinden. Vinden. To find. Ik kan mijn haarborstel niet vinden. Ik kan mijn haarborstel niet vinden. I can't find my hairbrush. This is a daily struggle for people like me. Um, usually when I'm saying this, I'm already holding it in my hand and I've forgotten that I found it. Uitgaan. Uitgaan. To go out. Morgen gaan we uit. 
Morgen gaan we uit. We will go out tomorrow. Now, this is a tricky one because uitgaan um, can mean to go out for drinks, like here, but it can also mean to step out of bed. For example, when you say, ik ga eruit, you mean I'm getting up. Vragen. Vragen. To ask. Vraag het aan je moeder. Vraag het aan je moeder. Ask your mother. This is what you do every time you have new clothes and you need to know how they can be laundered. Werken. Werken. To work. Zij werkt bij de bank. Zij werkt bij de bank. She works at the bank. This one sounds a lot like the English one, um, and it's almost written exactly the same way too. Work, werk, um, but then with an E instead of an O. Binnen gaan. Binnen gaan. To enter. Het restaurant binnen gaan. Het restaurant binnen gaan. To enter the restaurant. You may also say binnen lopen. Um, which means the same thing, but it has the meaning of walking in there. Uh, or binnenkomen, if it's from the perspective of someone who is already inside. So if you're sitting inside and someone comes in, you would say, hij komt binnen, rather than hij gaat naar binnen. Voelen. Voelen. To feel. Ik voel het in mijn tenen. Ik voel het in mijn tenen. I feel it in my toes. So it's also not very difficult to see the connection here. Um, feel, voel. Okay, so to be fair, it only has three sounds and two of them have changed, but you see what I mean, right? Proberen. Proberen. To try. We proberen het gewoon nog eens. We proberen Het gewoon nog eens. We will just try it again. So this is a tough one, um, because proberen sounds absolutely nothing like try. Um, they say it comes from the Latin word probare, which means tasting. So maybe that helps you. Verlaten. Verlaten. To leave. Hij verlaat het feest. Hij verlaat het feest. He is leaving the party. Now you may want to be careful with this one because um, verlaten is a very loaded word. So it means something like to leave alone. You can also say that you feel verlaten. Ik voel me verlaten. Um, and that means that you're feeling abandoned and lonely. So be careful how you use this. Bellen. Bellen. To call. Kun je mij bellen? Kun je mij bellen? Can you call me? Um, there's an interesting background to this one. The word bellen comes from the name Alexander Graham Bell, who was the inventor of the telephone. Rennen. Rennen. To run. Het kind rent naar huis. Het kind rent naar huis. Huis. The child runs home. Here again, the words are quite alike, um, so you would be likely to recognize it without too much trouble. The noun ren um, also refers to an enclosed piece of land for chickens or rabbits. So, the more you know. Foods that will kill you faster, as opposed to foods that will only kill you slowly, I guess. Speck. Speck. Bacon. So the first word of today is spek. Bacon. Ik vind spek erg lekker. Ik vind spek erg lekker. I like bacon very much. Me too, my friend. Unfortunately, I'm a vegetarian, so it's just lettuce and sadness for me. Um, anyway, so bacon uh, in Dutch is spek, but you can also just say bacon because... Actually, many Dutch people just use the word bacon. Energie dranken. Energie dranken. Energy drinks. 
The second one, energiedranken. Energy drinks. Energiedranken zijn erg zoet. Energiedranken zijn erg zoet. Energy drinks are very sweet. It's actually more common to say energiedrankjes, so to use the diminutive form, um, or even just energy drink. Um, I've never really liked those, to be honest. Um, they smell like cat pee and they have like 30 sugar cubes in them, so don't do drugs, kids. Verwerkt vlees. Verwerkt vlees. Processed meat. Next one. Verwerkt vlees. Processed meat. Ik vind verwerkt vlees niet lekker. Ik vind verwerkt vlees niet lekker. I don't like processed meat. Does processed meat kill you faster than unprocessed meat does? I'm not really sure why that would be. Um, but if you do know, tell me in the comments because I'm actually very curious now. Diepvriesmaaltijd. Diepvriesmaaltijd. Frozen meal. Next word. Diepvriesmaaltijd. Frozen meals. Mijn broer eet veel diepvriesmaaltijden. Mijn broer eet veel diepvriesmaaltijden. My brother eats a lot of frozen meals. Yeah, that would be unhealthy. Um, especially if he still eats them while they're frozen. Um, so that's no wonder he's going to die young. Sorry. Chips. Chips. Potato chips. Next word. Chips. Chips. Potato chips. Tijdens de film eet ik graag chips. Tijdens de film eet ik graag chips. I like to eat potato chips during a movie. Ah, salt and fat, how I love you. Um, so what's your favorite flavor in chips? Or crisps, should I probably say. I really like the vinegar and sea salt ones. Um, so anyway, notice that the Dutch word for fries is patat. So we actually use the word chips just for potato chips. Margarine. 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 Wij gebruiken thuis boter in plaats van margarine. Wij gebruiken thuis boter in plaats van margarine. At home, we use butter instead of margarine. Does margarine kill you? I don't know, guys. I think butter is just as bad. Um, maybe olive oil is still okay? Magnetronpopcorn. Magnetronpopcorn. Microwave popcorn. Ah, the next one. I love this next one. Magnetron popcorn. Microwave popcorn. Magnetron popcorn is erg slecht. Magnetron popcorn is erg slecht. Microwave popcorn is very bad. I actually think popcorn in general isn't very good for you. Um, but I suppose that does include microwave popcorn. Uh, anyway, don't let it get you down. Popcorn is delicious. And if anything about popcorn kills me, it'll be one of those little skins that get between your teeth and I'll die of an infection. Instant noodles. Instant noodles. Instant noodles. <clears throat> Instant noodles. Instant noodles. Op werk eet ik elke dag instant noodles. Op werk eet ik elke dag instant noodles. Every day at work, I eat instant noodles. I bet you didn't see that one coming. Um, look, do what you have to do. Just drink some water afterward because the salt content in those cups is not okay. Snoop. Snoop. Candy. Ah, this next one just... This is what's going to kill me, definitely. Snoop. Candy. Wat is je favoriete snoep? Wat is je favoriete snoep? What is your favorite candy? Frisdrank. Frisdrank. Soda. Next one is 
Frisdrank. Soda. Frisdrank is slecht voor je tanden. Frisdrank is slecht voor je tanden. Soda is bad for your teeth. Hey everyone, welcome to the monthly review. The monthly show on language learning, where you discover new learning strategies, motivational tips, study tools, and resources. By the way, all the free lessons and bonuses you're about to see can be downloaded on our website. So click the link in the description right now to sign up for your free lifetime account. Okay, today's topic is how to speak more of your target language, talking points for language learners. And today you're going to learn one, what talking points are, two, five talking points you can use to start conversations and maximize your speaking time, and three, how to get our conversation cheat sheets so you can speak even more of your target language. And you'll find out how to get them for free. If you've always wanted to speak more in your target language, then this episode is for you. I'll get into this in just a bit. If you're like most language learners, then your number one goal is to speak more, right? You want to have fluent conversations with natives. It's a great goal to have. But for most language learners, speaking also happens to be their weakest skill. You may not know enough of the language to express yourself. You tend to run out of words and things to say. And you're just not sure how to start conversation. If you have at least one of these issues, then talking points are just what you need. Part one, what's a talking point? A talking point is a topic that invites discussion or argument. In other words, just something to talk about. It could be about yourself, your work, your hobbies, the weather, food, or what you did this past weekend. All of these are talking points. Here's an example to help you better understand talking points. Think of a conversation you'd have with a friend. You can ask, what did you do this weekend? They'll reply and then ask you back. The talking point here is the weekend. Let's say your friend says they went to a restaurant. That's a natural talking point to explore next. You can ask, what kind of restaurants do you like? Now you've covered two talking points. The more talking points you have, the more you can speak. And the same goes for your target language. The only challenge is you need to know the relevant words and phrases for that topic. For example, if you want to talk about the weekend, you need to know phrases and questions like, what did you do this weekend? I did this. What about you? In the next part, you'll discover five easy talking points that you can master with our learning program. Let's get into part two. Part two, five talking points you can use. The first one is, learn how to introduce yourself in your target language. Why is this a powerful talking point? Introducing yourself is something you'll do again and again, every time you meet someone new. So learning the relevant phrases is a must. If you've done the first few lessons on our site, you can already do this. If not, then check out our absolute beginner lessons and the top 25 questions you must know lessons. You'll learn basic conversations with our quick three to 15 minute lessons. We'll give you the exact lines to use, along with the translations, so that you can use them in conversations. You can also use this talking point to continue a conversation. For example, if you've started with a different point, like the weather, then it makes sense to say, by the way, my name is... Talking point number two, the weather. This is a universal talking point. People like to talk or complain about the weather all over the world. In fact, just saying, it's really nice today, is enough to start a conversation with a native speaker. If you want to talk about the weather, check out our can-do lesson pathway called Can Talk About Weather. You'll find this pathway in the absolute beginner level of our lesson library. Talking point number three, compliments. Compliments are another great way to start a conversation or continue one. If you're running out of things to say, you can quickly transition and say something about their city, their country, or just, hey, I like your shirt. If you want to learn how to compliment, check out our compliments phrase list. This list is free to access for all users. If you don't know where to find it on our site, leave a comment in the comments below and we'll follow up. Point number four, ask for help. For example, you can ask for directions or about the price and let the conversation go from there. These are very basic phrases that you learn in our survival phrases lessons. If you want to strike up a quick dialogue, this is a great talking point to use. Point number five, learn phrases for transactions, like getting a room at a hotel, shopping, ordering food, or telling the taxi driver where to go. You may think that this isn't much of a talking point, 
But for the learners that are shy about talking to random native speakers for no reason, this is an easy way to start a dialogue. You have a good excuse. You want to buy something, so the staff will be happy to respond. Again, you learn all of these with our survival phrases lessons. Okay, let's move on to our last part. Part three, how to get our conversation cheat sheets. Lastly, I'm going to tell you how to get our collection of conversation cheat sheets for free. With these cheat sheets, you'll be able to talk about all kinds of topics, travel, hobbies, dating, family, weather, and much more, which means you can master a lot of talking points and speak more of your target language. If you'd like to get these cheat sheets, please leave us a comment in the comment section. So thank you for watching this episode of Monthly Review. Next time, we'll talk about how to double your speaking time in your target language. If you enjoyed these tips, hit the like button, share the video with anyone who's trying to learn a language, and subscribe to our channel. We release new videos every week. And if you're ready to finally learn language the fast, fun, and easy way, and start speaking from your very first lesson, get our complete learning program. Sign up for your free lifetime account right now. Click the link in the description. See you next time. Bye! Want to transform your driving time into language learning time? How much time do you spend in your car every day? 30 minutes? More than an hour? Why not put this huge amount of time to good use? Instead of just listening to the radio during your daily commute, you could be learning a new language instead. Here are three easy methods for learning a language in your car. You can put them to use right away with the help of our language learning program. First, you can listen to fun audio lessons by real teachers. Listening to lessons while in the car allows you to focus on the road as you listen and learn. In every one of our three to 15 minute lessons, our teachers teach you conversations, new phrases, and cultural points. Audio is the only learning medium that lets you learn and drive safely at the same time. So take advantage of all our audio lessons available. Second, you can set your lessons on autoplay and go hands-free. Our autoplay feature lets you keep your hands on the wheel without even reaching for your device. Just set your lessons to autoplay one by one with our Innovative Language 101 app and never have to interrupt your focus on driving to switch to a new lesson. Third, you can repeat out loud and speak from your very first lesson. You want to speak a new language too, right? Well, you'll start learning conversations minutes into your lessons. All you have to do is listen and repeat out loud. Our teachers take you step by step through all of the words, phrases, translations, and grammar points. You're even prompted to speak out loud and repeat. The result? You understand it all and can speak your new language. Turn your commute into language learning time and have fun at the same time. Learning doesn't have to be a big commitment, like signing up for a college class. It can be fun and easy. In fact, it's as easy as pressing play. Our language learning programs will do the work for you. And with the exposure you get while driving on your daily commute, you'll be speaking and understanding real life language quickly. The best part? You can finally learn without even changing your schedule. So if you're ready to finally learn a new language the fast, fun, and easy way, sign up for your free lifetime account by clicking on the link in the description. Signing up takes less than 30 seconds and you'll start speaking from your very first lesson. Learning to carry a conversation is vital to mastery of any language. Even beginners can quickly learn conversational language well enough to carry on real conversations with native speakers. Of course, beginners won't be able to carry a conversation the same way they could in their native language. But just knowing a few tips, like which questions to ask to keep a conversation going, are all you need to speak and interact with real native speakers. Before we get to specific suggestions, let's first take a closer look at how having real conversations in your target language is so vital to your mastery of the language. Communicating with other people is the very point of language, and conversation comes easily in our native tongue. For beginners, or anyone learning a new language, conversations aren't easy at all, and even simple greetings can be intimidating and awkward. Nothing kills a conversation faster than long periods of awkward silence, so you need practice and specific strategies to avoid them. When you know what to say to keep a conversation going, communication becomes much easier, and you make a better impression on your listener. Nothing will help you learn to speak a language faster and truly master the language than having real conversations with native speakers. 
conversations quickly expose you to slang, cultural expressions, and vocabulary that force you to absorb and assimilate information faster than any educational setting. And that's a great thing. But how can you possibly have real conversations with real people if you're just starting out? Here are three proven methods that even beginners can quickly use to learn conversational language to make a great impression and avoid awkward silences. First, ask questions to keep a conversation going. For beginners and even more advanced speakers, the key is to ask questions to keep a conversation going. Of course, they can't be just random questions or else you may confuse the listener. But by memorizing a few key questions and the appropriate time to use them, you can easily carry a conversation with minimal vocabulary or experience. And remember, the more conversations you have, the quicker you will learn and master the language. Second, learn core vocabulary terms as quickly as possible. You don't need to memorize thousands of words to learn conversational language. In fact, with just a couple hundred words, you could have a very basic conversation. And by learning maybe 1,000 to 2,000 words, you could carry a conversation with a native speaker about current events, order in restaurants, and even get directions. To help you get started with this, check out our 2,000 common words, also known as our core list. These 2,000 words are all you need to learn to speak fluently and carry a conversation with a native speaker. Third, study video or audio lessons that you can play and replay again and again. If you want to know how to carry on a conversation, then you need exposure to native speakers, and the more, the better. Studying video or audio lessons is ideal because they provide contextualized learning in your native language, and you can play them again and again until you achieve mastery. Our instructors have created more than 2,500 video and audio lessons that you can play over and over. And the best part is, they don't just teach you vocabulary and grammar. They are designed to help you learn to speak and teach you practical everyday topics like shopping, ordering, and more. Although it may seem intimidating for a beginner, the truth is that it's very easy to learn conversational language. Just learn a few core vocabulary terms and which questions to ask to keep a conversation going. Our language learning program has the world's largest online collection of video and audio lessons by real instructors. Plus, tons of advanced tools to help you learn to speak and carry on a conversation quickly. Just a little practice and exposure to real conversations or lessons is all it really takes. Want the best language learning deal of the year? Today's the day, Black Friday. Just how good is it? Get a massive 51% off basic, premium, or premium plus. Click the link in the description to get 51% off and get instant access. But there's a catch to this incredible deal. There are only 101 spots and time is ticking. So you have to act fast to save 51%. Upgrade now and start speaking from your very first lesson. You get hundreds of audio and video lessons by real teachers, personalized courses, in-depth lesson notes, study tools, mobile apps, and with Premium Plus, you can learn one-on-one -on -one with your very own teacher. Once the first 101 spots are filled, this deal is gone forever. Get the best language learning deal of the year. 51% off basic, premium, or premium plus before it's gone. Click the link in the description to get 51% off. Want to finally learn language the fast, fun, and easy way? Unlock our entire language learning system right now. Get 30% off all basic, premium, and premium plus plans and a bonus Thanksgiving video lesson instantly. Upgrade now and start speaking from your very first lesson. You get hundreds of audio and video lessons by real teachers, personalized courses, in-depth lesson notes, study tools, mobile apps, and much more. Just scroll down to get your 30% off discount and your bonus Thanksgiving gift. Great work, here's a reward. Speed up your language learning with our PDF lessons. Get all of our best PDF cheat sheets and ebooks for free. Just click the link in the description.